So good afternoon. Welcome to the shop. Today I'm going to show you how to take a wheel well off. And I'll try to film each step and, and just let you go right along with me. So let me reposition the camera and we'll start tearing into this. Alright, the first step is to take the tire off. It's a 13 16 lug nut. Hopefully I got enough air in my compressor to zip these off. <clears throat> Pretty cold out there. That old gun don't want to move much. Alright, have to get a breaker bar. And we'll get a block. Since I already got the tire off the ground. Right here we go. Just kind of wedge that under there. one. Yep. Let's use the gun to spin them off. Mercy sakes, a big old wheel. There we go. Well, tight fit. I'll take them up a little bit higher from now on. All right, the next step is to figure out just exactly how this thing's attached to the trailer. So let's crawl underneath and we'll take a look. All right, it looks like we're going to need to take this piece of metal out right here, this flashing, this wheel well trim. Looks like this is held on with them, them uh, flathead screws. The metal is held on with nails, it looks like. It looks like them twisty nails. Sure is beat up under here. Now, the rest of this, I don't know if you can get over here and see this, looks like it's nailed on right there. So we got a few nails to pull there. Along the back edge, it's got a few nails in it. Right here, about every oh, six inches or so. Yeah, it looks like that's just how it goes all the way down the side. So it looks like the major part of this is going to be taking this trim piece out, and this looks like a little piece of aluminum just to finish off the wood. Boy, this is 
really been beat. That's why that tire was so hard to get out of there. Look at the hump in that wheel well. It's got to be humped in three or four inches. Okay. We'll get to that. Now I've got this thing jacked up a little higher than when I took the wheel out. Got a jack stand and a jack. Always keep two, uh, two uh, forms of support when you're crawling under something. It's just safety. It's not a good thing to have something fall on you. All right, let me get this camera on a tripod and then we can get to tearing this apart. Okay, we're gonna uh, get situated here. All right, I'll try to keep my fat head out of your way. We're gonna take this trim off first and uh, then that'll let us get into that nail and that strip in here. So, I'm just gonna start right here. Well, the screws are coming out okay. They're uh, not too tight. In fact, that one's just hanging in there. A little fancy puller here. bit of crud in them. Yeah, they're all rotted out on the inside, so we'll just pop them babies out. It's pretty. Okay, now I have to keep these. Now you know what? That right there is just a piece of drip rail, J rail, installed the wrong way. I was kind of worried about where I was going to find these trim at, but that's exactly what that is, just a piece of J-rail. So, won't have to be too concerned about straightening this up then. Alright, there's that. We'll get this fancy puller. Went up to the hardware store the other day looking around at tools and stuff. And saw a little deal like this puller. But the end was so big here that you couldn't pull these little tacks with it. Looked like just a screwdriver with the blade cut on it and split open. So this little thing I made come out pretty handy. One thing I did find, though, I did find a pretty good little cat's paw. Let me go grab that. All right, this cat's paw, it's got a real fine, small tip on the end. I don't know if this is a one for just small tacks or what, made in the USA. Uh, I think it was 9 inch. But it does pretty good with these little nails, too. 
you just kind of set that right up in there, either end, like that. Just kind of tap that right under. It pops them babies right out. You know. more here. All right. Like that. Looks like just flat aluminum. Nothing special. Kind of help protect these wooden blocks and bottom of this floor and stuff. All right, let me uh, get you positioned in here a little different and we'll start pulling these nails out. All right, we'll get started on this outside part here. Looks like there's little tacks all along here. They don't look like them. Some of them look like them twisty nails. We'll see if we can't. head come off that one. Head off that one. Looks like they've slice that along there to get it to fit up around. Okay, that freed that up. Looks like I've got one more right there. That little wooden block. The head's going to come off that one, so we'll just... Maybe go this way. Nope, the head just come off it. on the lens. Alright, there's that. 